Hey everyone, Tony D and Little Joan here with a hot take on the uh, latest from the crisis zone of New Jersey. Um, you smell something? You smell something, girl? Go, che go check it out. She's been sitting on my lap a while. So, um, here's the deal. The numbers, the case number increase yesterday was around 3,200. Today it's around 3,500. So it didn't go down, it went up, but it only went up a little bit. I mean, in the scheme of things, when you were in the thousands and you're only still in the same thousand, that's not too bad. Could mean a plateauing. Hopefully tomorrow it still hangs in the 3,000s, goes lower, maybe even in the 2,000s. Um, not sure if we can account for the discrepancy. The numbers are the numbers. Uh, they're, they're very, very loose. Uh, testing is going to be a huge factor if they suddenly dump the results of 50,000 cases on the numbers, then, you know, it could throw the whole thing off. But uh, I don't think they're, they're going to do something like that. I think at this point, two weeks ago, we were in the first real week where people were treating this seriously. Um, you know, two weeks ago, Saturday and Sunday, it was the first real weekend that people were kind of locked down, at least in New Jersey. Um, so this would mark the first week of, two weeks ago of real quarantine. So the mitigating factors are just starting to kick in, hopefully. But there were still lots of holdouts. I mean, we still had people uh, insisting on having their weddings or ignoring the advice, just flat out ignoring it. Uh, I don't know why you would ignore this advice uh, I mean, I kind of get it if you had a wedding scheduled and you, you invested a lot of money and it was going to cost you a lot of money to cancel it. But when you hear the stories of people just really in bad shape from this, uh, makes me think twice about going out. It really does. Um, Boris Johnson, the uh, Prime Minister of the UK, is now in serious condition. He was self-quarantining. Then he was in the hospital, and now he's in intensive care, um, which is which is terrible for the people of the UK. Joan's in my sort of half-ass garden over there. Joan, Joan, don't pee there. That's not a place to pee. Okay. Uh, she pees there. It's going to ruin the whole thing. Anyhow, um, the situation here seems I'm 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 optimistic that it's plateauing um, if this is if we can sustain this number and go down this week then uh, we'd be looking at mid-April mitigation being effective um, you know and and you know, some people are talking May and June for things to open up. I, I, I think that's too late. Um, we have to start opening things sometime at the end of April, May. Um, now, we don't have to open everything. Obviously, it'll be, I think, still a problem to open restaurants if we have a lot of cases here. But, um, you know, perhaps there'd be some way to open some businesses. Um, I don't know which ones, uh, you know, maybe regular retail stores could open with social distancing if people wore face masks and gloves. Um, you know, on some sort of limited basis, maybe just in the daytime when the sun was out, which would help lower the risk marginally. Um, I don't, you know, the, the big controversy today is about letting people going to church, or at least it was Sunday, because uh, it was Palm Sunday, and then this week is Easter. Um, you have to let people go to church. 
Um, now that's not my personal choice. I'm not a religious guy, but uh, you know, for people who are religious, uh, it's very important to them. Um, so you, you definitely don't want to get between someone in their church who is religious. That that is just a formula for disaster. It's very unconstitutional, number one. Um, and number two, these people believe that if they are not, you know, uh, attending their religious service, they will be doomed for eternity. So uh, that is a, a real recipe for people to do something extreme in order to get the church. So people have to get the church. Now, I think they should try to be socially distant and wear face masks and some of them aren't doing. In a more libertarian society, uh, we would say, yeah, do whatever the hell you want. We think you should quarantine, but if you're gonna go out, that's fine. But then the hospitals might have the right to say, sorry, we told you to stay in. Um, if you had that sort of situation in which the private hospitals would send you a notice saying that if you go out in this, <laughs> You will not, if you do not abide by the quarantine, we can refuse your treatment. People would think twice. And, uh, and then people could make that sort of informed decision. Making the government sort of force people to quarantine, that's, that's just not gonna work. It's not gonna work for, a lot, for another reason that the cops are getting sick too. New York has a real problem with a lot of the, the, the fire department and the, the cops are getting sick. Um, the big news coming out of New York is they're going to create temporary cemeteries in, uh, I believe it was Central Park, uh, because they have no place to store the bodies, and uh, which is a shame. Obviously, it would be a bad idea to have a funeral right now and bring all your relatives in, so uh, I think it's, a, it's the only solution, really. Uh, it's a shame. But I mean, I think, you know, that is a good, as good a solution as you're gonna get. I know that for some religions, it's uh, uh, a problem if you don't, if you're not put in the ground in a timely manner. I'm not sure what the uh, deal is with exhuming and having a, having a funeral post, post burial uh, for, I believe it's, I think Jewish people believe in getting into the ground within a certain amount of days. And I know Muslims are pretty big on burials. Um, not sure for the rest of religions. Not sure. Not a religious guy. Not an expert. Um, but um, hopefully people can cope with that. And then, you know, sometime in the summer uh, when things are better, you can uh, bury your loved ones or hold a funeral or hold a memorial service, you know, when you can get together again. Um, the bright side of all this is it, uh, there's more evidence that the uh, um, drugs, the malaria drug and the z pack are doing well, um, uh, that it may be a cure. Um, there's more doctors going on the internet saying, yes, this worked very well. Um, the z pack apparently is not good for someone with a heart condition, certain heart conditions, so beware of that, but um, they are ramping up production of the malaria drug, so that sounds like something definitely I would take. It's, uh, it, it seems to have, if you're, you know, taking a prescription version of it, it seems to have no adverse side effects, uh, really, even if you took it and it wasn't working for uh, the beer virus. So uh, I'm not a doctor. Uh, just want to get that out there in case you're wondering. <laughs> so, but um, keep that in mind if you're unfortunate enough to become infected and have to go to the hospital. I, that would be the first thing I would ask for. I would go into the hospital and be like, do I have it? Oh, okay. I'd like some malaria drug and z -Pack, please. I'm calling it that, by the way. I know the actual names now, but uh, YouTube is just so weird about this. I mean, so weird. So weird. Um, so, anyhow, 
otherwise, New Jersey seems to be doing okay from what I could see in my backyard and on the internet. Um, you know, the Depression era uh, <laughs> economics hasn't hasn't hit anybody yet. Probably won't hit for at least a month or two. Um, haven't you know? Haven't really heard or seen anything along those lines. I, I, I'm hopeful that most people and most banks and most landlords will be uh, responsive to people and give them, cut them a break. But obviously, as the summer grinds on, that that's probably not going to be the case. I mean, people are going to start going, where's my money? Uh, I don't have it. Well, I don't have any money either. And that's unfortunately going to be the situation. Uh, which is why I still advise planting a garden, a big garden. Um, you know, I don't think it'll be your only sustenance for the coming months, hopefully, uh, but it would be good to have, uh, just to have something, just to have something and save you some money. Um, you know, in New Jersey, we grow tomatoes like nobody's business. It's pretty easy to grow tomatoes, actually. It pretty much just put them in the ground, they grow. Um, you know, as long as it's in kind of a sunny spot and, um, you know, and get some water in the really dry months, uh, you'll, you'll get plenty of tomatoes. Um, my yard is just rife with animal life, believe it or not, this tiny little yard. I, I don't know what I'll get. They'll probably all be eaten by the squirrels. Uh, we have very aggressive squirrels here. I do not know why. There are also, uh, little shrew, the shrews, uh, I don't know what they're called have those we have possums come in the yard raccoons I, I mean it's a free-for-all back here you would not believe how many times I had to pull Joan back from attacking a possum or a skunk fortunately I, I think I and moles I got moles fortunately I think I got the that the skunk situation because I leave on the back light all the time and uh, so the skunks don't like the light apparently so they avoid the light so they they generally avoid my backyard but if I, if I didn't have this fence, I, I probably have a herd of deer here too. Uh, anyhow, that's it from New Jersey. So stay safe, keep washing them hands. Uh, and if you do go out, oh, one last tip. If you do go out in South Jersey, um, I've been told uh, some of the produce stands are open and uh, they are, you know, they're not, it's not a million, there's not a million people there. Now, I know most of my viewers aren't even in the South Jersey area, so those will be the handful of you who are my friends and neighbors who are, are tuning in, but uh, uh, some of the uh, produce stands are open, and uh, there's not a lot of people in them, and uh, they got stuff. I, I don't know how well stocked they are, but I've heard they got stuff um, uh, down on Route 73, so um, if, you, if you're familiar with that area, so you may want to want to check out those places rather than the supermarket if you're just looking to get some produce to get you by that's what i'm thinking of making a trip for now because i am completely out of produce at this point i'm down to eating salsa as a vegetable so that's that's not good anyhow that's it from new jersey